as you can see, this project's already started. I had begun working on it when I realized it would make a good how-to video to show you guys how to do this. So I've never done this before. It's going to be kind of fun to figure it out. First thing you're going to want to do is take off your mower deck, which of course I've already done. I'll show you how to do it. Here, as you can see, there's a cutter pin there you pull out. One just like it on the other side. And then this here has a cutter pin on a pin that's sticking through it. You also take that one out, but that pin is on the mower on the deck. And then up here in the front, stuck through this hole here, the front hanger for the mower deck right here. This front hanger. In order to see this is hung through that hole. In order to get this off, you just take this pin off here and slip it out of there. I like to put it back on the mower deck though after I'm done. So I don't lose it. Same thing with the cotter pin. Stick that back on. Stick each cotter pin back in its hole so I don't lose them. Now, in order to figure out about the drive belt, you're going to have to flip this mower over. As you can see, that's got to be the drag belt. It doesn't look to be in such terrible shape, but the main reason I'm replacing it is because I used this mower to haul a couple loads of dirt. Actually, by a couple, I mean probably 30. 30 cartloads of dirt. And after that, the transmission got really loose and really lax. And I'm guessing what happened is I stretched my belt out from too heavy usage. So I'm going to put it back into drive, out of neutral, by pushing that in. See, belt does feel a little loose. I'm not entirely sure how these drive systems work, but... Well, let's see how I can get this belt off of here. So it looks to me like the first thing you do is pull off this tensioning spring so you can more easily pull this lever down here. This is one tight spring, though. So I want you to be able to see how I do this uh, nice and up close. I'm going to take the belt which I just popped off this pulley here. It goes through here, over to here, and goes around the pulley there. I'm going to pull it off the bottom of the pulley where all the slack is, and then go around the pulley with it. And then get it off, up over this, over the top, so that I can kind of slip it through here, if it'll slip through. It's got to slip through, it goes through there here. and then come all the way back here to where it's attached on that pulley there. Only it seems fair to warn you, you're going to have to go through a bit of pain to get the belt off of this here. Because this guard right here, it's nearly impossible to pop it around that. So get ready for a special kind of pain when you deal with this special kind of stupid that the engineers designed there.
But I think I found the part number for the belt. Right there. Ground drive belt, part number 140218. I'm not 100% sure if that is, and I'll still have the part number in the description of the video for you, but I just want you to know, you can find it yourself if you look. And for reference, there's a belt running diagram here in case you don't know how to do it. Okay, something I should have advised you to do is don't quite put it on the front pulley all the way yet because you need a little slack to get over the fan blades that go over the transmission. So I'm going to pull it off this front pulley so that I can have that little bit of extra slack I need to slip over the fan blade. You also got to remember to use the right side of the spring. One side is rounder and one side is longer. I think I was using the wrong side there, but I'm not entirely certain. Okay. Dry belts replace and it works great. My problem before was when I pushed this drive lever forward the transmission would feel really squishy in its engagement. It would just slowly slug forward. But now when I push that down, it has the proper amount of resistance and the machine moves right away. So that's what I wanted to fix. Now I can show you how to get the mower deck back on in detail. Now when this thing goes on, this thing here, you start in the front, and you slide it through here, and then you gotta pull the mower deck forward and pick it up a little bit with the front end in there. Then put in your cutter pin. Actually, I think I got my washer on the wrong side there. That's better. Okay, got that in. Excuse the slight shakiness of this video, but my camera stand wasn't short enough to let you see under here. Take off these pins, which you so smartly must have put in there originally. 
And I put all these washers on the same one, so each one gets one washer. You pull this hanger here over to that, and then you slip it over. And I'm going to have to do that with both hands, so I can't exactly show you it. Okay, so you see I have it over there. Now, just put in that pin. Ah, there we go. And next, here. And now routing the mower bed should be pretty straightforward. Okay, for the cable. I wish I had remembered to put the cable on there when the mower doesn't go off. Do that if you can. So you take the hook end of the spring, of course, routing it under the mower belt, not over. You go through, then there's a little hole down there that you press it until you hook it in there. There we go. Got it in there. Then you pull this in. Through there. There. And always remember, go over the belt, or under the belt, not over the belt, under the belt, not over. Okay. Hang up the deck by the same two hanging arms that I clip on with a cotter pin. Same exact thing as on the other side. Now up it goes. There. You can see that Mounting and dismounting a mower deck is not that bad of a job. Not hard at all. You just gotta know what you're doing. Out of gas. Okay, so it drives nice now. For the exception of a few stupid gopher holes, it also mows really nice. So I guess that's all. Make sure to tune in next time and watch my other videos.